Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. When I say the word gender equality, what comes to mind? Flags, campaigns, feminists? Well, today I'm going to talk about one factor which is crucial in promoting gender equality, but on the horizons of people's minds, so that its importance is often overlooked. That factor is sex education. UNESCO defines sex education as a curriculum with a process to teach and learn about the cognitive, emotional, physical, and social aspects of sexuality. Sex education is crucial in promoting gender equality because it provides people with knowledge to make informed decisions about their sexual well-being. However, we are lacking sex education in China. According to WHO, only 10% of students in China have received sex education from a school curriculum. And only 50% say that they are very satisfied with what they've been taught. Others obtain information from the internet and asking parents. However, according to Monday's Beijing Daily, 74% of Beijing parents refuse to provide their children with sex education, with 50% feeling too embarrassed to do so. I think we can see a clear problem with this. It is immensely difficult for teenagers in China to obtain knowledge about sex when they need it. However, at a high school age, all genders need extensive information about puberty. Young males need discussions about masculinity in the program. They often feel that their needs are not addressed because their sexual desires are considered as shameful. Similarly, for many young girls, they have huge gaps in their knowledge and misconceptions about menstruation, which lead to fear and anxiety when they first begin menstruating. Without knowledge from the school and without knowledge from parents, many adolescents turn to the internet. For many people, pornography is their first exposure to sexuality. However, while many adolescents see pornography as a practical guide, they are unaware of the fact that pornography is aimed at specific audiences to entertain and provide markets. And it is very different from reality. Many pornography materials portray sexual violence and abuse towards women and describe imprecisely how sex and pleasure function. Thus, the inability of many children to distinguish between the reality and the falseness of pornography leads to a failure to understand consent and a generation of degrading gender stereotypes towards women. According to UNESCO, one in three of women have experienced physical or sexual abuse by their partner or someone else. And up to 50% of sexual assaults are committed against girls under only 16 years old. 60% of these women live in developing countries where access to sex education is limited. Teaching young people about consent and respect in relationships is crucial to creating an equal, safe, and healthy society. I believe that everyone should have the right to learn about bodily autonomy, their privacy rights, and how to respect the rights of others. Topics such as saying no when feeling uncomfortable Staying away from other people's privacy and communicating with parents could be adapted for a younger audience. And topics such as no means no, creating respectful relationships and protecting oneself from sexual harassment can be taught to adolescents. With knowledge on gender and on boundaries, it will help many adolescents to distinguish between what is love, what is sex, and what is abuse, and help them to protect themselves from abuse and protect other people from abuse in society. Another huge factor that is causing gender inequality in our world is teen pregnancy. 
Without education, many teens, especially many teen girls, cannot make informed decisions about their sexual health and fail to hold their future in their hands. You may ask, well, what is the impact of this? 70% of girls who give birth leave school. Compared to high school graduates, they are less likely to find a job and earn a living wage. Many of these girls turn to prostitution as an employment option because they have little schooling and less viable economic options. From sex education, we can introduce birth control. We can tell people about the correct way to use contraceptives. And teachers can also help students to make responsible and correct decisions when it comes to sexual activity by reducing the number of unintended pregnancies. More young girls will have a chance to complete their education and gain a better start in society. If you fight for gender inequality, fight for gender equality and against gender inequality, I applaud your efforts. But perhaps for one second, just one second, take your eyes off the many campaigns and posters that you're buried and look over the horizon. Maybe you're angry. You're angry at the feudal society. You're angry at the indifferent people who will never understand what you're campaigning for. And you're disappointed at everything because everything is not fair. But there is hope. There are children who are unbiased. There are children who will learn. There are children who will grow up and become tomorrow's society. And by working on sex education, we can change the face of tomorrow's society. And we can create a world that is more just and more equitable for everyone. Thank you very much.